you're with us it's gonna be a scorcher out there today it's the new york mets taking on the st louis cardinals first pitch coming at you right after the break just about ready to roll here and today's starting pitcher, Eric Fetty. Well, what quickly stands out to me for this guy is that he comes in with a three to one strikeout to walk ratio on the season. So when you consider consistency, the ability to get swings and misses and to limit base runners, that's critical in winning games today, especially when teams are depending on the big swing, the home run to win ball games. Ready to go? Here's Francisco Lindor. The pitch. And a foul ball. O oh, one now. Foul ball there. And the right hander deals. Almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. One ball, two strikes to count. To the right side. On to first. One up, one down. Here's a Mets lineup now. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats. Hit. Oh, gets dirty. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. This is great work by the shortstop. He makes the throw across the diamond after the dive and just wasn't able to get it there in time. But I love how much he put into that play. And on the other side, he was really giving it his all down the line as well. Nice play on both ends. One gone runner at first. Here is J.D. Martinez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Lifted in the air, right center field. And Martinez is out. Two down. Batting four. The first baseman, Pete. Alonzo. Here's Pete Alonso. That one ripped. Newt Bar going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. It's the Mets nothing. Redbird stepping up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. here in St. Louis and today's starter Jose Buto base runners are tough to come by with him out there Chris well he's been a real quality starter for his club and coming into this one what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the Leading year it seems the they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone so we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one Mason Wynn in the box here lets that one go for a ball Way inside, no gets out of the way. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Dives and it gets by. Around second now as they still don't have it. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Going 
Joseph Contreras now up to the plate. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. Win. The lone runner stands at third with no outs. There's a strike. 95 of that one. Just missed the inside corner, and the count is one and two. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Comes through with the RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Here's Nolan Arenado. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Outside low, and it's 1-0. Oh. Nolan Arenado at the plate. Arenado, guy who delivers big-time power at the dish and will probably go down as one of the greatest defensive third basemen of all time. That one fouled off. And speaking of that defense, it's hard to imagine that in high school, Arenado shared the left side of the infield with another elite defender, Matt Chapman at El Toro High School in California. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him off on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Two outs. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater, but the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Jesse Winker. Jesse Winker. The pitch. And a foul ball. Fetty measures six feet, four inches, 31 years old, a former first round pick back in 2014. Fouled off. He was late. He deals. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. On to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. And just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two strike approach. And now it's Mark Vientos. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. One down. Francisco Alvarez now at the plate. That one the other way. And that should be extra bases. Vientos around second, headed for third. Headed for the plate. The relay. The tag. Right A lot of real estate to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff man, and then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out of the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. Neal stands in. Up the middle, Donovan whips it to first. And that is the inning. Mets leave one, still behind by a count of one to nothing.
back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second. We head to the bottom of the second. Now the left fielder, Alec Burleson. Here comes a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Pitch misses there. One and one. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff pitchers have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. In the air, left field. Martinez has a beat on it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. On the ground, right side. Steps on first for the out. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I believe clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. And a pitch. A big swing and a miss. One ball. Two strikes. Two outs, base is empty. Three. Swing and a miss, struck him out. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. But they're on top, one nothing. <laughs> top half of the third inning. Here's the veteran outfielder, Harrison Bader. Harrison. Fetty back to work. That yeah. one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Well, these Mets, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. The numbers tell us they're swinging at the first pitch more than 90% of the time. And that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results, Boo. Over to Goldie. And a quick out number one. Now that the shortstop. Francisco Lindor. Back to the top of the lineup. Francisco Lindor up now for the Mets. Grounded out his first time. Hey. Francisco Lindor oh. at the plate. The Mets shortstop originally drafted by Cleveland. And a guy with some serious power and an excellent defender. Donovan tosses to first. And that quickly, two away. Now that, the designated hitter, Brandon. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. Reached on an infield single his first time. And that's off that's inside. the inside edge. And that's ball one. That one lifted to left. Settles underneath it. And that is that. So they make short work of them there. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Cardinals one and the Mets nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the catcher, Pedro Pajes. He turns on the rubber, you know, with that good live arm delivers. And a liner around in the right center for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now that, not so the lineup flips over. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. He started the bottom of the first with a triple and later scored. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out. He makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0-1.
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Runner at first with no outs here. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Double play ball to second. Good feed. That's he's one. Out. Over to Alonzo. No, double play. I think four, six, three double oh, plays like that are way really tougher good. than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play. But right there, very well done. Contreras, the next to hit, takes ball one. On the ground to third. Throws to first in time. And Contreras is retired. What a play. Inning over. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Martinez. The wide to kick the pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Burleson makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting the first baseman. And now it's the polar bear, Alonso. Pete Alonso. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And that one is lifted in the air. Newt Barr on the move. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two down. Here's Jesse Winker. He's the over right one. Number three, Jesse Winker. Ripped on the ground a second. Throws to first. They don't come any quicker. Three pitches. Let's go down quickly. They still trail one nothing. Back here in St. Louis, and here's the first baseman, the first Paul baseman. Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. Fought off foul. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. That's to third. Over to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Here's Nolan Arenado. Strike one. All one's the count. One out, base is empty. Next offering in there for a strike. No balls, no two, ball, strikes. two strikes. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Martinez makes the catch. And there's two away. Here's Tommy Pham. Struck out swinging his first time. That one's in there 0 1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And it gets down for a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dump something in. Got him no, on the off-balance throw. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. So one left for the Cardinals, but they hold a one nothing lead. And we're back. New inning getting started. And stepping in for New York, Mark Vientos. Vientos measures 6 feet 4 inches, 185 pounds, and he was a second-round pick back in 2017. 
Well, these Mets definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over aggressive. One thing that stands out looking over the numbers is the amount of outs they have on the first pitch of the at bat. They've given away too many at bats with easy outs. I'd really like to see him make an adjustment. Get more patient and start waiting for that right pitch. Not just the first pitch. I think that could make a big difference in this one. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The captain, number four. And yeah, the batter now, Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. Doubled his first time up. And that one fouled off. The Cards up by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Kicks and deals. Not ball. close with Two that straight. one. One and two to count. Side and that's just foul. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. And the runner holds. Get him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. The pitch. On the ground to second might be two. There's one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Good that they weren't overzealous there. Just take the shirt out, keep the runner out of scoring position. And now Bader up to the plate. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. And makes the grab. And that'll do it. Met strand one, and it remains one nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. Brendan Donovan. The wind of the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. On one. On the ground to third. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Well, it's been a struggle on offense for them in this one, so maybe that wakes them up a little bit. You know, an error can certainly give the opposing lineup something to get excited about. you got somebody on base, so we'll see if they can make something of it. Now up for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. Right through there for a strike. All ones the count. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. Nabs it. Throw over to first. And now the Cardinals catcher, Pedro Pajes. Got it started a little too early. Oh, Strike one. Donovan leads off first no with one there. away. Just missed. On a line, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now and here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Mason Wynn. 
fouled off. He was late. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Bo. Fought off foul. Line drive, that's a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. To hit is Wilson Contreras. This is off the inside. 1 and 0. Right through there for a strike. That's in there. It's a ball and two strikes. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And there are two outs. Man, it's so frustrating. You got a couple of runners no, on. You want to try to drive in at least one oh. run. Maybe you get a little too big with the swing. Pops out right there, and I tell you what, nobody's more frustrated with that at bat than him. Goldie yeah. in the box now. Take strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Swings through that. He finds himself in a tough situation oh, early. Good. Just kind of try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Two outs. Three. Got him swinging. Third out. So three left for St. Louis. They lead it 1 0. Here at Bush Stadium. Start of the six, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Francisco Lindor. And a pitch. Swung on, belted. That's got a chance. Bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. At the play, Brandon Nimmo. And that one fouled off. pitch rolled softly but that goes foul well here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them this is where they need to get going one ball that Two one strikes. almost got him definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside really think the outer half is open with the go-ahead run at the plate and we're at the top half of the sixth ground ball up the middle over to Goldie now one gone in the top of the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of now the down. air. Let's the Let defense work behind him with another Here's ground me. ball. Good execution. J.D. Martinez stands in. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Not one even one. close there. Yeah, the count even one and one. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. They're painting the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one to tip your cap. Oh, on the crap. ground to the left. And it's just foul. That was close. Hey. Time called. Lindor over at second, one down. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out.
Man at second. And That's another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Now this is in the air down the line. Burleson sizing this one up. Squeezes it. Two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Pete Alonso will hit next. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Runner at second, two down. Bounce to third, Arenado. Zips it to oh. first, and that is the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Cardinals one. Bottom of the sixth Three inning. Four, now six, up the two. Cardinals number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. The line of the pitch. Arenado. Up the middle, and that one handled. Gets it to first, and they get Arenado for the out. Although well, we talk about how now the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand, the way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. And now it's going to be Tommy Pham. In there for strike one. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. And that one fouled off. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. One down, base is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And he deals. On the ground. And it's through for a hit. Now batting, left fielder. And now, Alec Burleson. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. The batter, the second baseman. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. Ground ball left side, could be two. There's one, and that's two. No runs on two base hits. No errors and one left on base. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Cardinals one and the Mets nothing. We go to the top of the seventh and stepping in for New York, Jesse Winker. And the right hander back to work. And fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. On the ground to first. Tosses to oh. the pitcher covering the bag. And Winker is set down. Now the third baseman, Mark Vientos. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. This one in the air center field. Newt Bar sizes this one up. That's out number two. The catcher, number two. So up next for New York, Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. One for two. drive and that should be extra bases around first heading for two and the tying runs at second base with a double 
Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Yeah. McNeil. Here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Ground ball to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Mets leave one. They trail here. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the center fielder, Lars Newtbar. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these cards putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. The numbers help tell the story. I mean, they've been sitting fastball oh. and it's paying off in a big way so far with six hits against that pitch alone. Now up for St. Louis, Pedro Pajes. Yeah, that's oh, outside. That's Ball one. On the ground, right side. Bounces into the outfield. That's a base hit. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Mason Wynn digs in. Runner on the goal. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So one out with two aboard. Wilson Contreras. Next up for the Cardinals. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Check oh, swing, and that's a ball. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. That one not close. Two and one. Two on, one out. That's in there. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning. And that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. You look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Pick up his teammate and his club. This one chopped up the middle. And that chance handled. Slings to first. They get out of it. Inning over. So the cards strand a couple, but they lead it one to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the eighth, and stepping in for New York, Harrison Bader. Fetty back to work. And a base hit up the middle. Off to a good start with a leadoff nine. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan now to be aggressive. It. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him. Sean Armstrong gets the ball now. These are the spots where Levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Tosses to first, first out in the top of the eight. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That one's got a chance. To the warning track, makes the catch. 
Throw cut off to third. Oh, He's okay. in there. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite yeah, enough yeah. of it to beat the Let wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. Martinez. Here's J.D. Martinez. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Pogue, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Hey. Swing and a miss. Oh, and one. One. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take hey. the lead. Swings and misses. 0-2. Oh, a little anxious, a little aggressive early in the count. Too much for me. Two outs on the ground to third. Arenado to first in time. That ends the frame. Met strand one. They're down one nothing. Back here in St. Louis, out of the bottom of the eighth, stepping in Nolan Arenado. Now time called. Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw the bullpen. New pitcher on now, here, four, Oscar Brazovan. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Now into the ball game on defense, Tyrone Taylor. He'll be patrolling center field. Number 15, Tyrone Taylor. Also entering the game, the number 11. He'll now play second. second base. Number 11, Jose. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Tommy fan. And Ball. that's a little bit high. Ball one, no strike. And nope. another ball. That's inside. There's the strike. 95 of that one. Arenado at second with nobody out. That Let's one misses, three. and the count is three and one. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations, and right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Alonso makes the play, one down. Now batting, left fielder. Now the left fielder, Alex. Alec Burleson, one for three. Rounder, that's through for a base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Runners on the corners with one gone. Now it's the second baseman, one Brendan Donovan. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them go home first and prevent that run from scoring. Two on, one out. And Two another one. ball. That one in for a strike, two and two. Right into the plate. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's now the bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Runners out first and third, two away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Rip to short. Lindor on the first. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance.
off the back, and here comes the closer, Brian Helsley. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here comes a pitch. Hard hit, left side. Over to Goldie. Now one ball in the ninth. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Now it's the right fielder, Jesse Winker. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. That's out to center field. Newtbar moves under it. He's got it. And there's two down. So, last chance for the Mets. Mark Vientos up now for the Mets. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Looking to get the tying run on base. Sliced hard, but foul. And the pitch. There's a swing and a miss. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. The Mets down to their final strike. The one two. That one down the line. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Cardinals claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, this was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the player standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today. And a 1 0 final score here in this one. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.